Welcome everyone to Python Lab. In the previous tutorials, we have seen how to get started with Flask. Today, we're gonna talk about how to design layouts using Bootstrap uh, because Flask doesn't support uh, Bootstrap by default. It doesn't have a built-in uh, Bootstrap layouts like uh, Django. So uh, we have to create uh, the layout from the scratch. Now uh, let's get started. Uh, first, create a static folder in the uh, blog app for, uh, directory because this static folder will keep all static files like CSS, uh, JavaScript, and other uh, files. Inside this uh, folder, we need to create a separate folder CSS and uh, JS. All the CSS uh, files will be kept inside this for example, master.css, and uh, we can create our uh, own CSS uh, file, uh, uh, classes here. Uh, for example, background uh, attributes, like F2 padding is zero, and font size, we can give a default font size for all uh, text files. And we can create uh, another class, wrapper class uh, with maximum widths, 100%. <coughs> and head class, like uh, padding left is, left is 40%. Uh, and uh, and uh, we can give more attributes for this uh, class. Now let's create a separate uh, another uh, file inside template that is called base.html HTML file, which contains all the resources, uh, CSS, Bootstrap, and other resources inside this. Uh, uh, in, in this uh, HTML file here, uh, we have created a normal HTML tag. We can include a meta tag, which uh, supports us uh, all uh, devices, small size device, a large size device, and blah, blah. Like uh, where this device, where this, where this Initial scale is would be one zero, and uh, if we want our app supporters or compatible to uh, other browsers like Internet Explorer or Edge, that we can include another uh, meta tag at to be equivalent x a x u a compatible and the content that supports this meta tag is Internet Explorer or H. And here we have created uh, our, so here uh, we need to include all CSS uh, file. Uh, now let's let's uh, use uh, Bootstrap, live Bootstrap. Uh, so we need to copy the uh, live, uh, you, the link of live Bootstrap from Bootstrap website, and it, it does. And we can also include our uh, master static si uh, file, this file in our uh, header. Of here, uh, we need to uh, we uh, need to use URL uh, double uh, like. Uh, browsers URL for this is the keyword that. A function used to uh, call the URL where the file or the your uh, file uh, will be located. So we uh, here the URL is static, which the file is found in the static folder, and file name would be located in CSS. I mean CSS master.css. This is the way how to include, uh, how to include uh, our uh, CSS, static CSS. 
Uh, we can also include JavaScript if we have a, J a JavaScript inside this static folder, file. And either uh, we can create a block of title, mm, block title. Here, our title will be included here in the, then we enclose in the block. So we open a block. So in a template, we need to write like this using uh, brasses inside brass, we uh, use dollar inside dollar, we use uh, the uh, block keyword, the block keyword that, uh, and that block should be en enclosed by in the block title. And now in the body of, we can also uh, here, block body. If we have a JavaScript or jQuery, we can include in the body of this uh, base.html file uh, in block. Here we can uh, include inherit JS or jQuery here in the body of uh, base.html. Why we need to create a separate file, base.html? Because all the resources will be uh, keep here and we can extend this base.html file in every uh, HTML uh, document. So that is the easiest way because we don't need to include all these uh, resources in every HTML uh, file, but we extend this file uh, in the header of the HTML document. Now let's go to the index.html and we, we don't have any file here. Now in the first, uh, in the header of this, we use extend this and we extend dot, uh, base.html file here. Once we extend, we can use all the resources, the classes of the CSS, JavaScript, all things, resources from uh, base.html, which is included in the base.html uh, because we, we have extended from this base.html file. Now we uh, create head, uh, I mean block head. int block head. In, in the head, we uh, also uh, open the title, block title. In the block title, we can uh, write the title, block up. And include the, we end up the title of block. Now uh, let's open the Blog body. In the body, we can uh, write our HTML uh, elements, HTML tags uh, in the block body. Here, inside this, uh, Here, uh, <clears throat> let's create a div uh, that uh, div is proper. The wrapper is, the uh, class is found in the master.css. This is the wrapper class in the, uh, then inside this, we can call hr5 class head and we call that the title block. Here, uh, then uh, now let's uh, create container class, which is a bootstrap uh, class, bootstrap lab, because the bootstrap is already included, inherited in the base.html file. So we can use all the classes from Bootstrap, from live Bootstrap, 
And here, container fluid is the maximum uh, weight is 100% uh, weight is, and we can use also, we can also use, now divide our page into uh, two parts. Uh, first, we give a row and we can, uh, it is simple to divide rows into columns using column. And uh, we create a left, left side, left side, I mean, column MD3, three, three number of columns we can give, and we can give the wages, wages one eight three. Here in the first column, in the first uh, in the first left side columns, uh, we provide, we give a class class card. I mean, we can create this in the card. Let's, yeah. Now in the card, uh, there is a card is a. Uh, to create a card, uh, then card header. In the header, we uh, just write latest article. Article, then here outside of this header and inside the card, we create a list. The list that uh, there is a group, uh, there is a class that grouping a list, list group and list group group flash and uh, that's uh, grouping the list item list group item here post one now this is the uh, end of end of the uh, left side. Sorry, this is here. Now uh, let's create in the right, the right side, uh, column MD, the first three columns have been created and the, then on the right side, the contents of the we can do seven, seven number of columns in one. Then the class card, then give, I mean, card header uh, in this post by admin. And outside we can create div body, card body. In this body, we can create H5 class card title of title post one. This yes, we can see, and we can create a class of Card text. This is my first post. Now, here the end of end of content column or right side column. Now, this is the end of container. Final fluid. Uh, oh no, this is end of row. End of row. Okay, this is wrapper. Uh, end of wrapper class. Now let's uh, 
save and refresh our uh, web browser and uh, let's look at our blog up. Hey, this is the, our blog. In the left side, a latest article will be displayed. In the right side, the uh, let's, here we can uh, also uh, include the button like uh, read more. I mean, button PTN primary and read more. Yes, read more here. So this is the way how to design uh, the uh, layouts in Flask template using Bootstrap and static CSS. And we want to uh, display more uh, posts like iteratively to display uh, like here we can we can use a for loop like for i in a range of for example in three three posts this posts the for loop would be end here, end for. Here in the post also we can include for for i in a range three. Now this the for loop should be end of the block of for loop should be ended here. Now let's refresh our uh, website uh, page and let's see. Yeah, this is the way how we can design the layouts of uh, Flask template using Bootstrap. So in the next time we will see how to uh, 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 develop a crude operation, crude uh, like read, write, write retrieve, Delete operations from database, MySQL database using SQL Alchemy. For now, this is uh, the way how design. So I think you got some insights from these tutorials. And in the next time, we will see uh, uh, another uh, tutorials how we can uh, uh, use database. How can we uh, leverage database with uh, Flask uh, templates and how can we uh, retrieve a uh, store data from MySQL and into uh, MySQL database using SQL Alchemist? Thanks for watching for today.